Caroline, how long have you known this boy who overdosed? He didn't hang around us. He's like one of those hippie kids. I'm not a part of that group. It was a party in all these rooms. His girlfriend, who I barely know, was completely hysterical. We didn't want to get in trouble, but what were we supposed to do? I mean, I mean, what would you have done if you had been us? How well did you know the Seth boy, the one that was driving you? You know he was charged by the police with a DUI in possession of marijuana? He's a friend. He's also like the only one that was dealing with the situation. He'd had a couple of beers, but it's not like he wanted to drive. We just didn't know what else to do. It wasn't my pot. All right, honey, we understand. Your mother and I have to talk about it. Honey, we need to talk alone. Like always. I think she's lying. Me too. We'll have to ground her. Clip her wings a bit. Only school and scheduled activities until further notice. We have to handle this delicately. Honey, this is difficult, but we've all had our moments. I tried Stop! to- Stop! You experimented in college. I don't want to hear about that. Can we take the quotes off experiment and call it like it is? This is different. Why? Because she's 16 years old. I think she should find out on her own, in her own way. We have to give her space. Space to do what? To overdose like that other kid? I will not send her a message that that kind of behavior is okay with her parents. We because it isn't. We don't want to push her away. These are growing experiences. How long have you known about this? How long have you known about this? Six months. I found some marijuana, that's all, and a little pipe about two inches long. I talked with her, and she told me that her friends were smoking pot and drinking, but I... 